Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about a product that comes by different names. Some guys in our trade will frown on it. In fact, I won't add it to a system that's under warranty or a system that is not that old. You know, this is sort of a last resort type product for me personally. I would never add this product to a system that you know still had quite a bit of life left. And I will tell you that a lot of manufacturers, whether it's this product or any other product for that matter, if you are adding stuff to the system that the manufacturer themselves did not recommend or spec out to be added to that system, then they will sometimes void warranties. They will not honor their warranties if you have added something to that system. So that said, if I have a customer that has a system that has a refrigerant leak and the system's older, it's not under warranty, and the refrigerant leak by what we can tell is not that big of a leak. I would never use this product if the leak was, you know, what I would consider large. If I've had to go back within a 12 month period, so if I had to add refrigerant this month, and then two months later had to go back because it's low in refrigerant again, I would not use this product. But if I've got a system that, you know, seems like every year we're having to add a little refrigerant and the customer says something to us about it, this is something that maybe you can look at as adding to your system. The product itself is called Leak Armor and it's made by Diversitech. And I'll tell you this, Diversitech has not paid me any money to make this video. I wish they would, but they have not. And again, they make a couple versions of this. We're gonna get into that in just a moment. But this product is sort of like Fix-A-Flat. You know, if you've ever heard of Fix-A-Flat for a tire, this product would be Fix-A-Flat for a heat pump or air conditioning system that has a refrigerant leak. And just like Fix-A-Flat for a tire, if you've got a giant leak in that tire, you know, you got a big hole in that tire, the Fix-A-Flat product is not gonna work. It only works if you've just got a small leak that you're just trying to get stopped and get as much life out of that tire as possible. And the same would be said about this product. It comes in this bag. It used to come in like a little plastic container, but now they come in a bag as of here recently. Before I go any further and show you the different versions of this product, we're gonna open it up. Again, I know there are heat and air guys out there that frown on this stuff. I would not add it to a newer system. A lot of guys will even claim that this stuff kills compressors and things like that. It'll gum them up. I'm not a scientist, so I don't really know the ins and outs of that. Uh, I think you can make a valid argument for that if that's true. But again, I would say if you just got a system that you just keep having to add refrigerant to, it seems like every year you have to add a little bit of refrigerant every spring and you're just trying to get as much life out of that system as you can, maybe this is something you can look at. So real quick, it does come in this bag and this bag, just like, you know, bag of potato chips or something like that, you would tear the top and then it opens like you would a freezer bag. It comes in this hose and then it comes with your fittings you need to attach to your heating and air system. So there you go, and you know you just connect that there, you connect each one of these to your ports, and then you push on this little valve right here, and that's how you release the product into the system. Uh, this is not something I would want to see a homeowner doing. I think that you should have a pro do this for you, even if you can get the product. But that said, it's very easy to install compared to a lot of other products on the market, very comparable products. They can be a challenge at times to add to a system, whereas this, in my opinion, in comparison, is very easy, uh, not challenging at all. So that's it. You know, you add that to the system and the hope and dream would be, you know, the next spring when it rolls back around, you don't have to add refrigerant to the system again. Now, there is an upgrade to this product, and that is you can buy the same product, still does the same thing, but it comes with dye that you can add to the system. And dye is not that uncommon. Uh, in fact, some manufacturers don't even frown on dye. We've had systems that were under warranty and we called the manufacturer and said, this system's obviously leaking refrigerant. What do you want us to do? We can't, we can't actually find the leak. We've used our sniffers and nitrogen tests and all these different things. And we're having trouble finding this leak. What do you want us to do? And we've had actual manufacturers say, go ahead and add some dye to it 
charge the system back up, and then let us know when you find the leak. So this would be the upgraded version of that leak armor, Diversitech leak armor, and that is the tube is still the same, but it comes with dye in there. If you can see where it says with dye. Still comes in the same flex shot tube, no cans, no special tools, and it's easy to put in there. But again, I would say that these products are last resorts. This is not something I would wanna see added to a system that's under warranty or a system that has so has plenty of life that we can find the leak, get that refrigerant leak repaired, and get as much life out of that system as possible. And the last thing is this product is good for up to 12 tons for that heating and air system. Years ago, we would have to get two different products. You know, you'd have one that was good up to three tons, and then maybe one that was good up to five or seven. Uh, but this one product will take care of all those. And if you decide to get it, you know, if you have your pro, put that in your system, let me know what you think. Maybe it won't work. I, th I do think it's probably a 50-50 shot for relatively not that much money, especially in comparison when you're looking at some of these refrigerants that are getting more and more expensive as time goes on. This could maybe in the end save you a gob of money. All that said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.